And going forward, it feels as if you have to make every moment count. And on one level, you do. It feels as if you have to have every single iota of your energy devoted to a particular situation with a large amount of force applied behind it in order to really push things through and achieve a breakthrough. And whilst you do have to focus on creating change, going too far too fast is going to be one step over the line too far, and that's a radical step at the moment that you can't really afford to take. But so much seems at stake at the moment, and so little movement has occurred. A situation is slowly evolving, but slowly is the key word in that sentence, and slowly is something that you don't really feel like you can wait for at this particular moment in time, and it's got you in a position where, well, you're taking it all personally. Your honor's involved. Your dignity feels like it's, you know, lying in pieces, shattered on the floor. But is that really your dignity or is that your pride that you're looking at? At this particular moment, you need to be passionate in your approach. That dissatisfaction that you feel, that can be an excellent tool for building energy, for creating the energy that you need in order to make that change occur. But if that energy is not harnessed, if it's allowed to run out of control, if it's allowed to be too damaging to a particular situation, well, it's going to be damaging to the change that you're trying to create as well, right? So whilst at the moment, on one level, no half measures are acceptable, at the same time, wild, undisciplined energy, an energy that's not acting on awareness, but instead is just moving on impulse and emotion, that's not going to create a positive change. And we know that positive change is what you need to create. What is the force that is at play behind all of the problems that you're having right now? Perhaps you're taking this too personally. Perhaps you're taking this too personally. Perhaps, even though that dissatisfaction needs to drive you to take action, you need to accept that although you're not seeing the progress that you desire, progress is taking place in every single moment. Your actions do matter. The energy that you're applying to the situation does make a difference. So don't take it personally. Don't look around you and judge the situation at such a disadvantage. Don't see the cup as being half empty when in reality it's half full. And whilst at the same time <laughs> you want the rest of it to be full, except that perhaps you're dealing with a tap that is dripping very slowly and it's got to fill that glass very slowly in order for it to rise to the top. But perhaps if you were to turn that tap on like full throttle, or deal with, you know, that steady drip that's like coming down that seems like it's moving too slow, you might find that all sorts of rust and toxins and all sorts of other stuff might come up out and fill that cup that are things that you don't really want to have a cup of in the first place, okay? So it's better to accept slow progress rather than trying to force progress that's not going to be what you want. Take your time. You're right in knowing that you have to make every single moment count, but take your time and plan those moments wisely and with awareness. And if you could use a little bit of help with the process, I should mention that I do offer several different levels of astrological service that are available through the astrological services page of my website. And between now and New Year's Eve at midnight London time, there is a 10% discount applicable on all astrological services. When you go to schedule through the astrological services page, all you need to do is enter the discount code HAPPY in all uppercase letters at the link above. That's going to do it for this look at the moon's transit through Maga Nakshatra on the 26th of December 2018. Until next time, please do take the very best care of yourself. Bye now.
Thank you.